Good afternoon. In my last uh, video, I shared with you my cook system and my food storage system. And today I'd like to share with you my electronics that I'll be bringing with me uh, on the PCT starting next month. I have the system complete. Um, and then I will be sharing also my clothing system and my sleep system later this week and then uh, next week or maybe maybe even by this weekend I should have my complete gear set up um, ready to go and I will share my final my final gear that I'll be taking with me uh, starting in March uh, northbound on the PCT okay so to start with I just have all my gear laid out here um, so to start with uh, are all my charging cables here. I have uh, everything I need to charge, everything that I'm bringing all together. Uh, the charging cables are two ounces. And then I have a Cita Summit dry bake here that I'm gonna put all of my electronics in. And uh, I believe that was about 1.7 ounce for the bag. I'll have to look down on my, my chart again. My lighter pack, but I believe that's what it was. Might be less than that. Yeah, it's way less than that. Actually, it's point, uh, point 0.6 tenths of an ounce, so. All right, and then my, uh, this is the 13,000 acre battery bank. It has two ports, so I can charge two items at once. And this weighs 8.4 ounces. Uh, I will be using this to recharge my phone, my headlamp, and my uh, InReach Mini. And then I have uh, just a quick charger, um, and it has three ports to charge. And this is a quick charger, so it should charge everything uh relatively quick and then i also brought one more wall charger because i am going to need four uh for when i go into town to charge my battery bank my satellite my cell phone and my headlamp all at the same time so i brought an extra one so the wall charger the three port weighs 2.5 ounces and the one the one port wall charger weighs point uh, nine tenths of an ounce. Okay, so that's my whole charging system there. And then I have uh, my headphones here. These are just some basic Apple headphones, and those weigh uh, point three, uh, so three tenths of an ounce. And then uh, my Garmin Enrich Mini. Um, which this I'm gonna just I you know had a uh uh what do you call it uh an attachment to go on my pack here that actually I'm just gonna put aside but this was you attach to the back of the phone and this part attaches to the back of the phone and then it's got velcro here with the leash um, and this attaches right to your pack I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that though I think I might just attach it with this carabiner um, but anyway so my inReach mini this is my satellite phone um, this is what I'm going to use to uh, for safety if I you need to call for search and rescue it has an SOS button um, it also track it's a GPS device so um, can track where I'm at and send messages to my family. I can also send text messages to my family. Uh, this was probably one of the more expensive items I bought, but I feel like it's worth it uh, for, I don't know, just a sense of security and to make my family feel better. Um, and I'll be able to keep in touch with them even when I don't have cell phone service. And I did set up the EarthMate app on my phone uh, and I'm working on uh, getting everything all set up and we'll take it out and practice with it before I leave so I have had it I have activated it already and have it mostly set up I just have a little bit more work to do to get that 
uh, finished up, so I'll make sure everything's working right. And it weighs 3.5 ounces. Okay, and this will go on my shoulder strap. And then I have uh, my headlamp here. This lamp is uh, just a super fire. I got this off Amazon, I don't know, about a year ago. Fairly cheap, I think it was under 20 bucks. It's a rechargeable uh, 500 lumens, and it also has the red light adapter. Um, you can adjust it, the angle of it, and there. Like I said, it is rechargeable, and it holds a charge a long time. So I, you know, originally was going to get, I, I thought I needed a better headlamp, I guess, just because this one was so cheap. But after doing lots of research, I really didn't find one that I liked as well as this one that was rechargeable um, that wasn't super expensive um, I don't know that I really liked so anyway uh, this one weighs 2.5 ounces which isn't really bad you know it, it's worth it and I'm gonna give this one a try if I need to upgrade at some point I can always get one later on but I think this one will do, do okay and then I have um, just a baggie here that I'm gonna wear um, and one of my shoulder pockets that I'm getting and I just have some lenses clip-on lenses that go on my my iPhone and I just upgraded to an iPhone 7 uh, from an iPhone 5 so I have more memory and a better battery on my phone um, which I'll be using for filming and GPS um, so anyway I have these lenses I got uh, and I just took out I got a number of different lenses, but I decided the ones that I think I will really use the most are the macro lens. And this also has a micro lens when you screw off this top one here. And uh, and then a telephoto lens. So I left the other lenses behind because I don't think I really need them. Um, and then I have a carrying case that actually came from came from my uh, anchor charger, but I'm going to use this for my shoulder pocket to put my recording stuff in, so I have it easily accessible. So those are, um, let's see, 1.3 ounce for these, and then I have my uh, stick picks and the camera attachment. And um, this will go on into my trekking pole for uh, vlogging. And then I just have, um, oh, I'm going to take this off. Please excuse my sniffling. I have a horrible cold right now, uh, which is interfering in my training this week, which is a real bummer. I've been sick for four days. And uh, yeah, I've been pretty miserable. So hopefully this will go away soon. All right, so I had to take this off because I was wearing it, but this is my microphone system. So this just uh, has an adapter that plugs into my iPhone. And then um, this is a lapel microphone. So this will just attach to my shirt. And uh, if you see, there's a piece of Velcro. I can move up and down the cord, which I can attach it to my trekking pole. So I think it's going to work okay. You know, I'm still kind of testing it to make sure um, it's worth bringing, if it makes enough of a difference while I'm uh, in the audio when I'm filming, then I will be bringing it. If I decide it doesn't, then I'll be leaving it at home. Uh, and then I just have these. Uh, these are a little, I don't know what you call them, little buffs that go over. Uh, the end of the microphone for to help with uh, sound when it's windy out so these are super lightweight and then just a cleaning cloth for the lenses and so all this will fit into this bag here to go in my uh, shoulder pocket so yeah and so the stick picks and the cords and all that way uh, 1.7 ounces all right so the total for my weight for my electronics is 1.81 ounces and that includes my iPhone 7 which weighs uh, 5.6 ounces so uh, with my phone it's about what a pound and a half without the phone it's a little over a pound 
All right, so that's all I have for that. Okay, so with my electronics, I didn't, uh, for the most part, I, I spent the most money on my satellite phone, the Garmin. Uh, mini inReach was was pretty expensive, but so I so I kind of scrimped on some of the other areas. There's a lot better recording equipment I could have gotten, but uh, I'm on a budget here. So to me, that was the most important item is my safety over vlogging. Um, even though I wanted nicer uh, vlogging equipment, um, it'll do, and. Um, and we'll just, you know, I can upgrade as I go along, as I can afford it. Probably not on this trip, but um, it's a good place to start. And just need to do some experimenting and see what works best. You know, I started out with, uh, I was going to use this uh, selfie stick that I'm actually using to film now and I really like. But I felt like it was going to end up being kind of cumbersome on the in my pack. Um, it was a little bit too big to fit anywhere comfortably that I would be able to access easily without taking my pack off. So that's why I decided to go with the stick picks. Um, I'm still working on the audio program. Um, I have learned how to uh, record on my new phone and edit with iMovie. And um, it's very, very simple to use. It doesn't do as much as the other program I was using on my computer. It's really basic, but I feel like it puts out fairly good uh, videos. So I'm still experimenting with the sound on it. And um, I find I had a real problem getting the videos to upload uh, to YouTube. And so I was having to transfer them to my computer and then upload them. So I finally was able to figure it out yesterday uh, with a practice video on how to upload it and uh, what was happening was the uh, the lock on my phone you know after not you after it sits for I think I had it set for one minute uh, my phone would lock and so what happened it would uh, stop the uploading process when my phone would lock so I just had to change the settings and uh, keep my phone unlocked uh, and then I was able to upload the video. So I'm glad I figured that out. I was getting really frustrated. Um, but I, I do feel like I'm making some progress. One of the reasons I'm doing a lot of videos, I feel like the more I do it, the more I learn. Uh, so please bear with me and be patient. Uh, I'm sure some of you are probably getting sick of seeing me post videos. Uh, but you don't have to watch them if you don't want to. Right? Um, I, I've noticed there's a lot of people that are really into uh, the gear videos, and, and I am too. You know, that's where I learn, and and it, it gets me to keep, uh, I don't know, um, just researching and, and going over my gear again to see if I have the best setup that I can uh, that's going to work for me. I also get new ideas from other people. And uh, sometimes I'm not sure if I'm on the right track or not. So then I see somebody else has something similar. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not the only one trying this. So, yeah, maybe this will work. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I should have. I just found out my order from z -Packs is on its way. I'm super excited uh, because that's, you know, a good portion of my big three. So um, I should have that here by Wednesday, and I will, um, I'm sure, have a new uh, final gear video out, hopefully by this weekend, and, uh, and then I can go out and test all my gear out and actually do a, a shakedown hike and, and uh, as soon as I get rid of this nasty cold. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.